an idea, a vision. The Hill Academy was started in 2006 to produce the best student athletes in the world. Today, the legacy of the original 16 students pulses throughout the school. But the world is changing, innovating, and creating, and so are we. So you better give it your all, every day. Empty the tank, or it's the next man up. All right, hi there. Welcome to today's episode of the Next Man Up podcast. Hosted by Current Hill students, Next Man Up is a show that targets the highest levels of achievement, independent thought, leadership, and legacies of various individuals from then and now. Through this podcast, listeners gain a variety of perspectives of student-athletes' past and what it takes for them to make it to the next level. My name is Dyson Williams, a a current postgraduate student and member of the senior men's lacrosse team here at the Hill Academy. Today we are joined by Shane Wright, one of the best young hockey players in the game. He is a current grade 9 student at the Hill Academy and plays for the Don Mills Flyers in the GTHL. Shane has recently been granted exceptional status to be drafted into the OHL a year early. Welcome to the podcast, Shane. Thank you very much for having me. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Yourself? Good, thank you. All right, so first off, uh, I'd like to congratulate you and your team on a successful OHL Cup tournament. Um, as I said before, you play with the Don Mills Flyers, the GTHL, and uh, a couple of weeks ago, you were not only crowned as OHL Cup champion, but the MVP of the tournament as well. So how do you feel after such a successful tournament? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's that's the biggest tournament of the year for, for minor midget, so... You know, just to win it and the way we did as well in overtime, it was it was pretty incredible for sure. That's cool. Um, obviously, playing alongside some other Hill students and um, some of your some of your best friends you get to play with out there. And uh, do you feel um, like your success in that tournament is reflected off off the Hill and uh, your kind of your preparation leading up to that? Yeah, I mean, the Hill definitely set me up for success. I mean, uh, this is my third year at the Hill. I mean. It's it's been great so far. I mean, it's it's taught me a lot. Uh, I mean, time management is one big thing. Uh, just managing kind of the schoolwork as well as you know the on ice part and the working out in the gym as well. Uh, and then just kind of uh, the, the dedication, the commitment, uh, how much work it takes you know to be successful, to get to the next level, to get to where you want. Uh, I think that's the hills definitely taught me all that for sure. Yeah, that's awesome. I have to agree with that. Um, and so for the OT winner, as you said, it's a really cool way to end it. Obviously. A um, bit more stressful than maybe what you'd wish for, but um, being able to get the the primary assist on that winning goal is that like an amazing feeling? Was that one of your biggest plays of your life so far? Or? Yeah, I mean, I didn't really have to do much on the play. <laughs> I mean, I, I just gave it over to my winger. Uh, he just kind of finished it off. But I mean, obviously, uh, everyone dreams of scoring the OT winner. Uh, I was I, I wasn't I didn't score, but I mean, uh, I get the, getting the primary assist is uh, is pretty cool as well. Yeah, that's awesome. Obviously, I can tell you're you're a humble guy for for your age and playing uh, a year up as you're only in grade nine, but you're playing with grade tens and obviously being granted exceptional status. That's certainly amazing. And yeah, um, so you were born in Burlington, and that's where you grew up playing hockey in your hometown. Um, so tell me a bit about yourself growing up playing hockey. Yeah, uh, I I think I started playing hockey back when I was three years old. Uh, my my parents just signed me up for the local Timmets program back in Burlington. Uh, I always, I always, I always played up when I was younger. I mean, I always played with kids a year older than me. Um, I felt it was, it was the best, best for my development. Um, the best way I could grow as a player and as a person. Um, and then so now, so now this is my third year, uh, Don Mills and coming to the Hill as well. Uh, I mean, it's like I said before, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, it's, it's been a great experience. Had lo- lots of exposure, and it's definitely uh, helped me improve as a person and as a player. Well, that's awesome. And uh, um, so since you grew up playing there and when did you end up like moving to the GTHL for um for your like your hockey like when did you start playing in that in that league uh my grade my grade seven year uh so I was 12 I believe uh my dad and I moved uh moved to Toronto and we started living in Toronto uh, and then um or Vaughn I guess and then coming to the hill here and then playing for Don Mills as well do you think that uh that move helped uh boost your hockey your hockey skill set and uh, your career and like bring it to more of where you're at right now? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I know the GTHL is one of the best development leagues in Ontario and Canada as well. Uh, so I felt like, um, you know, if I can compete against, you know, the best players in Ontario, I feel like uh, I'd be the best for my development and growing as a person. Yeah, fair enough. That definitely makes some sense. Um, so not, on, not only are you a great hockey player, but you're a solid leader and student as well. Uh, last year at your grade 8 grad, you were named valedictorian and gave an incredible speech. So um, to you, is is leadership important, and how would you lead? 
Um, I, I just think leading always, I mean, I, I like to lead the example, um, you know, working hard, you know, uh, seeing guys, you know, see my work ethic, having having the guys on my team, my class, you know, feed off that and see me work and have them, they want to work even harder. Uh, I feel like I can also be vocal. I mean, just kind of talking over them, see, like, seeing if they're okay, uh, see if they can, you know, see what they need, need help on or see if they can prove anything. Um, I think that's, that's definitely the ways I lead, for mm-hmm. sure. Um, now, obviously, since you say there's the ways you lead, do you see yourself uh, maybe like deep into a hockey career, like wearing a C on your chest and kind of leading a leading a franchise uh, the way you want to? Oh yeah, I'd, obviously, I'd, I'd love to wear the C. It'd be it'd be an incredible honor for for whichever team I played for. Uh, I mean, uh, back in uh, the Canada Games back in February, I, I actually wore the the C for Team Ontario. Uh, so that was it was quite an honor. I mean, I embraced I embraced it. I, I mean, I enjoy being the captain, having having my teammates look up to me. Uh, so I I look forward to you know seeing if I can be a captain or assistant in the future for sure. Yeah, that's awesome. I'd love to see that. Um, and as I said before, recently you were officially named the sixth player to be granted exceptional status to enter the OHL draft early. Um, now your name's in the same group as John Tavares, Aaron Ekblad, Connor McDavid. Uh, so tell me about a bit about like this move and uh, how you feel about making this step in your hockey career. Yeah, I mean, you see some of the guys on that list, uh, McDavid, Tavares, Ekblad. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I, I watch those guys on TV every night. So just just being in the same category as them, uh, it's it's pretty incredible. I mean, it was, I feel like it was the best step for my development. I mean, uh, playing up in age, I've always you know played against guys older than me. So I feel like playing the OHL against guys are you know three or four years older I feel like I'll be all right making the move that's awesome so and as you say you feel a bit all right um how like you you see you're confident in in your skill set right now and your size your strength to make the jump and do you think you could uh wherever you end up do you think you could help uh make an impact with their with their squad yeah for sure I mean obviously wherever I go I'm gonna do whatever I can you know help out my team help my team win games I mean that's that's a goal of any player but uh, myself, especially being a younger player, I may not have the biggest impact in my first year, uh, but I, I, you know, I like to you know, always have, you know, impact as wh- wherever I can and whenever I can, oh, in in whatever way for sure. Awesome. All right. So, uh, growing up watching hockey and being a fan, um, is there any specific hockey player that you look up to or have looked up to and see yourself playing like a similar game to? Yeah, when I was younger, I always looked up to Sidney Crosby, Pittsburgh Penguins. I mean, just the way he plays, he's he's a leader on the on and off the ice. I mean, he wears a C for Pittsburgh in the NHL. Uh, he's he's an absolute. He's just a role model for me. I mean, I look up to him. Um, he's he's just a winner. He wins he wins everything. He's three Stanley Cups in the NHL, gold medals at the Olympics. I mean, he's he's just overall a great leader, a great hockey player as well. And I definitely look up to him. Um, now, when you're when you're living right now with uh, all this. Your name's your name's huge right now. It's Shane Wright, Shane Wright, Shane Wright. Um, where do you see yourself in ten years? Like in in your in your mind, kind of like where you dream of where you want to be in like the next ten years. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, continue my career in the OHL for the next three or four years, and then hopefully get drafted in the NHL and make a living there. I mean, that's growing up as a young hockey player. That's always my goal. I mean, I sure I'm sure it's a goal for any young hockey player in Canada for sure, as well. So I mean. Yeah, I look to you know play in the mm-hmm. NHL, and that's definitely my ultimate goal. That's cool, and obviously you're you're very young, and um, obviously as you said, you 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 play with uh, uh, guys older than you your your whole life. Um, but is it is it weird like kind of being this young and like seeing like kind of your dream that you grow up and you you want to uh, make it to the to best level possible, but it's starting to become a reality for you. Is that is that how is that? Like for uh, like being at your age and dealing with that. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I've I've had to you know mature more a little quicker than a lot of kids my age. So uh, I've I've kind of gone fast forward through that part. I mean, but come always. I mean, coming to the hill really helped that. I mean, there's I mean hundreds of great athletes that come through the school, NCAA, NHL, NLL athletes. So it's it's really set me up for success. And I mean, it's it's really going to help me now. It's really going to help me in the next level as well. It's mm, awesome. Um, so since you, uh, still have, what, three and a half more years of high school to go through, you want to talk to me about, uh, kind of some classes you like, what you enjoy, what you don't like, uh. Yeah, my, my, my first classes are math and science. I mean, my, my mom's a high school math and science teacher, so, uh, I kind of <laughs> have to enjoy those subjects. Uh, I'm not really, uh, an English or, 
or writing person. I mean, I'm not really a fan of those kind of subjects, but yeah. yeah. That's cool. So uh, you, you're a smart guy or what? Yeah, good good right. grades? Good dope. grades? Yeah, yeah decent. decent. But you like the hockey better? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, the growing up in the Sioux and you like phys ed the most and all yeah. that. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> I, I have to agree with that. Um, all right. So thanks to our partners at Bauer and RYR Sports for providing our teams with the best equipment in the game. We at the Hill Academy are lucky to wear the best gear, which help us play at the highest possible level on the ice. Now it's time for our favorite segment, where we end things off with a variety of random questions to leave our guests on the edge of their seats. You ready? Yep. Here's the rapid fire. All right, are you a morning or night person? Morning. Uh, who's your pick to win the NCAA basketball championship this season? Duke. Love it. Uh, who's your fi- uh, favorite singer or band? Oh, probably Drake. Uh, books or movies? Books. What's your favorite school subject? Math. Uh, what do you eat for breakfast today? Uh, three egg sandwiches with ham and on English muffins. Wow. Uh, what's your favorite color? Uh, orange. Rate your haircut on a scale of one to ten. Solid two. <laughs> and, uh, who's going to win the Stanley Cup this year? Uh, Tampa Lightning. Wow. All right. Some good picks. All right. So, uh, so thank you so much for joining us and good luck in the rest of your career. Yeah. Thanks for having me on this. All right. So, all right, so that's all we have, uh, for today's installment of the Next Man Up podcast. Thanks again to our sponsors at New Balance, Bauer, and RYR Sports for helping us be the best that we can be. Time to end it with the Hills Breakdown. 1845 Hill Pride E.